A catchy title that's not watershed friendly. The play has been in the making for a few months. A challenging script that offers drama and comedy and an opportunity for exciting theatre. I read quite a lot of scripts throughout the year and it was just one that really popped out at me. Um, I studied The Seagull, which it's inspired by, um, at university and it's a play that I've I've always uh, found really interesting and then when I read this and it was a modernised version it just really appealed to me. So contemporary, quirky, funny, would you say it kind of ticks all the boxes? I think it's got a bit of everything, so it's got a, a little bit of drama, it's got some comedic moments, it's got some really really serious moments which allow the actors to really um, stretch their acting chops, so yeah it's a little bit of everything. So your last two plays have involved two actors but on this occasion you're working with a cast of around seven, so how important is it for yourself as a director to make sure you keep things uh, current, mix it up and challenge yourself in this way? Yeah, you've got, to, you've got to juggle everyone's calendars, everyone's an adult, everyone's got um, commitments, family, other things they like to do as well. So um, with the drama festival, because it's a shorter period of time, um, it's easier to get two people into a room or two or three people into a room as opposed to seven. But we started this work, we started rehearsing for this one in June, July, so we've had a little bit more time to work around people's schedules. And using the Garda Studios, so a much more intimate setting, would you say the actors need to step up in this way when the audience is so up close and personal? I love putting stuff on at the Garda Studios. It's a, like you said, it's a really intimate space. Um, there's an audience of about 45 there, so not many, but the actors are right in front of you. Um, and the challenge with the Garda Studio as well it is actually transforming it into, into a theatre. So uh, the last play we did there was transformed into a small living room, and this one we've sort of created like an outdoor um, canopy area, which looks like a sort of like um, mystical garden under a tent. So it, I think when people walk in, they're going to have the actors um, performing right in front of them, but they're also going to have quite an impressive set as soon as they walk through the door. The production, which is already sold out, is on at the Goddard Studios at the Inters Hall Theatre Monday to Friday next week. The group says it's ready for curtains up at 8pm.